Welcome to Notfest Germany. I'm Sophie Kay and I am sat here with the mighty Anders oh. from oh. In Flames. Oh. Hello, hello, what hello. What an introduction. <laughs> I know. You should hire me. I'll come out and tour with you. <laughs> so you are here at Notfest right now. The fans outside. We went and spoke to fans. There are so many people excited to see you and so many t-shirts out there because... <laughs> you know what I thought you said? So many teachers out there. Oh, te yeah, teachers. Yeah, teachers. <laughs> I'm sure I was there's like, what teachers. The okay. <laughs> okay. That's interesting, you know. <laughs> Random fact, but yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of people out there, loads of t-shirts. And cool. I think everyone's really buzzed right now because you dropped the new single mm -hmm. and it's so good. It's so, so yeah, good. It's, it's pretty right, yeah. <laughs> it's so good. So tell us a little bit about that track so it's the state of slow decay yeah yeah well so uh, we recorded um, a bunch of songs which will turn into an album uh, uh, in earlier this year right um, and um, feel really really good about it it was good to be part of a band again after mm -hmm. pandemic and not seeing each other for quite some time um, so I think the energy was right there in the room um, mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm, I'm super happy. I'm very, very stoked uh, about ev everything. And um, State is, uh, yeah, it's pretty good um, introduction to this new album, whenever okay. it's gonna be out. So we have, that's what you knew. You see, that's when you have a professional, because I could see you were just, I was just about to ask, ah, uh, when is the new album coming? Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell us anything about no. it? No. <laughs> no, it's all secrets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But we might be dropping another song pretty soon. Okay. Yeah. That's at, at least one. Okay. Yeah. Definitely looking forward to that one. Which is also great. That's yeah. Okay. Yeah. This I'm really excited to hear this new album, even though we know nothing about it yet. Yeah. I think a lot of bands came back, especially from the pandemic, with this almost new lease on life. Because how long, how long have you toured nonstop? I mean, I haven't had this type of break ever since I joined yeah. the band, pretty much. I mean, obviously, in the early, early days, we were not touring that extensively, but, um, you know, when st things started rolling for real, uh, we never had, a, like, such a long break. Has that affected how you are on stage? Because when you're doing it every day, it must yeah. start to become routine. Well, y yes and no, because every show is a new show, and every time you you want to give your fans everything, you know, because yeah. they paid money to be there and you can't just go out there and be like, oh, this is just another day. That's not how you feel. You no. know, you could do it off stage. That's one thing. But as soon as you're on stage with everyone, you, you don't just that disappears. So but I mean, this I, I was hoping this pandemic would lead us as people to come back uh, with more. Um, how can I say, be more gentle and more love and more understanding and everything. But it, this, w w us as people, we, we seem, we can't just do that. We're, it's, this place is more hostile and more angry and we're pointing fingers left and right. And I was like, damn, I was, yeah, I was hoping a two year break would be, make us better. Mm. So I think all that, and we took that and put it on, you know, on tape, so to speak, and, and, and created this album out of, kind of uh, frustration and anger, but at the same time feeling really good that we're back together, yeah. you know? So everything uh, with this album is, and uh, yeah, I mean, if, you're, if you know In Flames from the past, where we are today, uh, you will find it on this album. Okay, so there's a mix of everything in there. That's I think so. I mean, yeah. then obviously, you know, there's a few other people out there will, that will say, no, I don't agree at all, but that's the beauty of music, you know? It's this is just our way. This is what we do, and now it's for everyone else. You know their interpretation of, of our music, and that, that's that's the way it is. You don't read comments and things, though, do you? No, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, but I I, I realized that's no point. <laughs> <laughs> that will drive you mad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because everyone has an opinion, and everybody's entitled to have an opinion as well. So that's fine, but it doesn't help me. You know. It yeah, because I can't go home to everyone and try to explain my intentions. No, it's of just, course. just yeah. Everyone has an opinion, much yeah. like everyone has an asshole, but it doesn't mean you have to show it off. That's 
yeah, well, it's, <laughs> you know, well, what, whatever, right? You know, you can't, you can't just, but that's also something, what I meant with the world. It's like, mm. I don't think we, internet is a way, it's, it's a too powerful tool for us humans to handle. It, David Bowie predicted it. Yeah. He yeah. said. Wow. Well, yeah. yeah. There should be a license, you know, like. Should, yeah. Yeah. And if you s do stupid things like three times, you're. You're out. Yeah. Yes. So. I'm here for it. So you're playing uh, today. This is the lineup right here um, at Knotfest. Yeah. It's going to be an amazing show. Are there any other bands that you're particularly close to or looking forward to? I mean, Mishuga, we know, of course. Yeah. Um, love to see them, but I, I just found out they play at the same time as us, so that sucks. I don't know who planned it, but yeah, whatever. I wanted to see Ginger, but they just played when we arrived. Tesseract, another awesome band. I mean, all of them, really, to be honest. Um, I mean, Vended, we're going on tour with them in the US pretty soon, so, you know, but yeah. It's it's great because we were talking earlier about one of your gigs that must be like from 2010 maybe yeah. that I was at. And it's interesting on this lineup because back in 2010, you wouldn't have had an artist like Ghost Main no. on the lineup. Do you like seeing that that like difference in artists yeah, on yeah, lineups yeah, I now? Think, I think that's awesome, you know? Yeah. It would be boring if everyone sounded like in flames or Slipknot or Meshuggah. I mean, like, I think it's it's great. Yeah, because yeah. I don't know if you remember that time, there was an, an era where every band was always asked in interviews, what's your guilty pleasure? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that? Uh, yeah, 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 but uh, you can't, um, I, I, I think you can listen to whatever. I mean, we have a, our own show uh, next week in Sweden, mm. and we have Tesseract, Orbit Culture, and Lorna Shore, which is, all of them are quite different yeah. than us. So, but I think it's something for, you know, for anyone. It really is, and it's nice to see that, yeah. like the community coming together properly. Yeah. Now we've got some questions here that we've been asking all of the bands mm -hmm. um, to see their answer. What was the album that got you into heavy music? Um, well, Worldwide Live, uh, Scorpions. <laughs> I mean, that was my first love in heavy metal, Scorpions. Really. Yeah, wow. Yeah. And I mean, obviously, it came sort of at the same time as Iron Maiden and and Judas Priest and Def Leppard and all that stuff back in the day. Mm. Um, I was I was ten years old when there was a show in in Dortmund, and it was like Ozzy and Judas and Iron Maiden and Crocus, MSG, Scorpions. Uh, I say Quite Riot, Def Leppard, um, and I was. It was very important to 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 me. Now I realized how important that was. Like yeah. Yeah. So I th I saw this genre, heavy metal, and it was just so cool. How come everybody apart from me was so cool when they were ten years old? Well, I didn't I say was I was cool. I said that was. Because <laughs> I was listening to Sp yeah. I knew Spice Girls routines. Yeah. That was probably so I was yeah. like, the, the metal came later. But you were into metal quite young then. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, I heard um, Depeche Mode for the first time. Wow. Yeah. So. That also form, formed me, and I've had a love for Depeche Mode since. Yeah, and yeah. that inspired um, Enjoy the Silence. Well, uh, it, well, their catalog is so good. I don't want to pick any, any particular songs, but yeah. Okay, so all of them. Lots of love for them. What is something that you're passionate about that people wouldn't expect you to be passionate about? Hmm. I say what I'm, I'm huge, or I, I have a huge interest in spirits, not just drink massively. Ac actually, nerd, nerding out in whiskey and and I gin. In ghosts. Uh, no, no, not in ghosts. <laughs> I thought maybe you were doing spirits. like not in spirits, not in spirit. Was not, it not cool? <laughs> yeah, no, I have nothing to do with that. <laughs> um, and uh, like cooking, I love cooking. And um, I'm a fan of old synthesizers like from oh back wow. in the day. Old analog synthesizers. But I, I say this in interviews that there's nothing like I, you know, surprising. I guess. So do you collect? Do you collect bottles of spirits mm -hmm. and different brands? Like yeah, what's yeah, your? Yeah. If you were to give us a little rundown, if you were showing off your best bottles that you've got. Well, I have a bunch of old. 
whiskies, of course, and my favorite distillery, which doesn't exist anymore, is called Glen Oogie. So they have like bottles from the 60s and 70s, which are amazing. And so those, those ones I buy at auctions and stuff like that. Wow. So, yeah. Wow, so you really are into spirits. Yeah, yeah. Okay. See, that's where you can tell you're not English because we just drink everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to the UK. <laughs> you know. I love, I love being in the UK too. So it's a <laughs> you good, know how we It's roll. a good combination. Yeah. <laughs> um, what is the weirdest place that you've been recognized? Uh, hmm. I don't know. Honestly. You must get recognized a lot. It happens, but I, then again, I don't look for it. I just, yeah, I, I don't know. Just so you've never had the toilet. Oh my gosh, hi. Oh, well, that happened. Yeah, but <laughs> it's, it's like, oh no. <laughs> yeah. You can wash those hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> what would you say is your most ridiculous purchase that you don't regret buying? I'm guessing it's a really fancy synth or a bottle. Ah uh, well, you know, it was I um, ah, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I bought a pool last year, which is awesome. It it, it really I had a good use for it this summer because it's been really hot. So that was good. So I rebuilt my whole backyard and turned it into a nice place. That's really yeah. cool. But it's not a s it's not a small purchase. One purchase is a big thing, but it was awesome. And Wait. I don't regret that at all. So you have, your, you've told us you're good at cooking. Mm -hmm. Not you good, excellent at cooking. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. Excellent yeah. at cooking, excellent. So I'm guessing you're good at barbecue. Excellent at barbecue. Amazing at barbecue. Amazing at barbecue. You have, you collect spirits. Yeah. And now you have a pool. Yeah. Party at yours. Everyone's invited. <laughs> <laughs> I got to call home first and check, but yeah. Everybody's invited. And well, the address, no. <laughs> So, just to let us know, what have you got coming up in the next few weeks? Because you're very busy at the moment. Well, we have, so we have three more festivals, including this one. And then we have a little break, and then we go to the U.S. U.S. tour. And then yeah. we have something else after that, which I can't really say today, but pretty soon. Pretty soon, okay. Yeah, could be Monday. Could be Monday. Could be Monday. Okay. So it could be out by the time this comes out. could be out already. I don't know when you, yeah, when this is broadcasted but yeah. it could be a new it could <gasps> uh, yeah it could be the new single could be <laughs> well thank you so much yeah. for chatting to us thank you for having me. Best. thank you